Hey guys, what's going on? My name is VK and you're watching Phenomenal Creations as you always are. Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. So this time, with the help of Fatech, I'm able to bring you guys another motion tracking tutorial. So if you watch my previous one, I showed you how to use the Fatech plugin Fay In to crush 2D tracking. They made it super simple and at the same time amazingly powerful. So this week, we're taking up a notch because Fatech brought 3D to the game. So amazing 3D tracking coming up. Let's go. Hey folks, welcome to Adobe After Effects CC and if you're eager to learn new stuff and watch cool demonstrations, this video is no exception because we are once again diving to the world of motion tracking uh, like in the previous tutorials, but we're taking a whole new step here. If you watch my previous motion tracking tutorial, I was uh, partnering up with Fatech using their Fame plugin to create amazing 2D trackings like using three buttons made my life super much easier and if you haven't checked it out check it down links down in the description and the cards and annotations and everything so today um i got the possibility that fatech reached out to me and said hey vk we got some new cool stuff new versions of the fame plugin do you want to check it out do you want to show it to your people i was like hell yeah let's go ahead and do it so as you can read from the title below, we're doing something pretty cool here. They have raised up the bar and we're bringing 3D tracking to the game here. And that's a game changer. And they got some packs of new features and I will get to that later. So let's go ahead and just jump into that and I'll show you how this plugin works. So let's go ahead and take our main footage and drag it to the new comp button right over here. And so we're taking the frame rates and the ratios to match our footage and create a composition. Let's go ahead and hit Command K or Control K to get to our composition settings. You can also reach it down from the composition and composition settings. And let's just change the name to something familiar, familiar like tutorial. Um, if I kind of like spell it right. Alright, then let's go find the points in the video we want to have tracked somewhere in the 4 seconds. I think it's a good start. It really depends on your clip, but I think it's the smoothest part with my using my stabilizer. Then B if you want to manipulate the in point and N key if you want to manipulate the out point. And then just right click on this gray bar here and, and type trim come to work area. Awesome. So now we have trimmed our comp and we got the part we want to track. So basically I was circling around this wooden surface here and I do, I want to track this part. So what I'm going to do is that I will find if from effects and presets Fein. So we'll jump the Fein. The workflow is absolutely the same as in the previous tutorial, but this got a new trick. So as you can see here, Fein Gold. So I can tell you shortly about what's the new version thing now Fein has decided to have three versions of the Fein plugin one which is free the Fein free so no nothing anymore like this 30-day trial thing so you can go ahead to their website and download the free version and get started with your next trackings it won't be as feature packed as the gold and the silver version but still you can get started with there if you want some more features the silver is the exact same the same version we had previously before the versions and gold got the 3d tracking and the, a lot of cool features so i'm here to demonstrate the gold and now it's time to track this baby so let's go ahead and hit the add track button here and those who didn't watch my previous tutorial can really short run down what these buttons do. So the first method here, we, we select the kind of method we want to track with. The, uh, the left one is a rectangle region tracker. Basically what it does that if you have two dim dimensional uh, like points here and tracking surfaces with perspectives So then this is easier if you get like walls surfaces or something like this So that makes a lot more sense But the other one the region tracker is basically that if you want to like a paintbrush tool So I want to track this leaf and it's not rectangular so I can just paint over like this and track from there But I will use the, the rectangle region tracker right now and then the area type really shortly 
the static area, basically if your object you're tracking is moving or not. As far as I know, this surface isn't, isn't going to move at all if there's not an earthquake or something, but like, it won't move at all. And the dynamic area is basically if you're tracking a train, airplane, car, a moving person or something, where the character, the object you're tracking is moving also while you're tracking, uh, while you're moving. So I'm having a static area and a rectangle. And advanced properties, if you want to play with them, I don't because it works right out of the box, so to say. And let's just hit the start button. So three buttons and it has started to progress with the tracking over here. So you can get a cup of coffee or something else, but I will bring you guys back when the tracking and the progress bar has reached 100 and then we can continue from there. Okay guys, we're back in business, the, pro the tracking is done and if we hit play we can look how this looks like and the first thing you see, it's not flinching at all, it's really sticking to its ground, it's not moving around, it's a perfect track. So what makes this different from the tutorial last time when I did the exact same thing? It's not how this track was achieved, it's what we can do with it now. So the first thing to do or actually what to explain there, that in the gold version, you can now finally extract this tracking data from this placeholder, this fame placeholder, to a null object in 3D space. And that's super cool, but let me explain that in English. So, in the previous version, when there was no three editions of Fane, um, there was all the tracking data was inside this Fane placeholder, it was like a pre-comp, and you need to replace this placeholder with uh, another composition to get that tracking data. But now we can take that tracking data out of it and make it to a null object and everything we parent to it or turn 3D will automatically will be in that tracking data thing and that's super awesome so how we go and do that is we select the clip which we tracked so our main footage here and let's click on the active button so we activate the tracking itself and let's go ahead and click on the export button create null object with new camera boom so what it did we can turn the fame placeholder down you can see it created a null object and a camera track and you can see the null object there it's right there and we can see it's moving in our place okay we can't see it like that because if i'm scrubbing through it shows in its time period but okay so let's check out how this looks like so let's create a text layer so let's type in like uh fane <coughs> for example of course so what we do if we click on the 3d button it will automatically take that tracking data so if we play it back Okay, it looks to be moving a bit weird now. It's basically almost like beneath this the wooden surface here. So how we can make it to get the the null's position and orientation so it really looks like it's sticking to the ground. It's easy. Let's just take the faint text layers, um, uh, this pick whip tool. And then I'll hold the Alt key and take it to the null layer. So when we look it back, now it's sticking to the ground. So now we can start playing with this. So first thing to do is we can rotate it on the X ro rotation, for example, 90 degrees. Hit the scale and bring it up like this and watch it. It sticks to the ground. It had this awesome parallax effect. The 3D is working. It looks amazing. So... But if you want the 3D and very cool looking shadow as you saw in the beginning, no problem. Very easy to do. First thing to do is to take back the rotation so it's laying down on the floor. Then let's go ahead and create a duplicate. So Command D or Control D, Mac or PC, you know the deal. And then let's go ahead and rename the bottom of the shadow, for example. Then we can go ahead and change the text uh, color to black. Take the other one, the fade the, the, on the top one. Take the V or the normal vector tool to move the first one up using the, the Z axis and use the C because that won't mess up with the position. You can just do like this. That will mess up things. So use the, the arrows to place it differently in the comp. Let's go to the shadow. Let's find from the effects and presets fast blur. Let's get it there. Let's just 
give it some nice shadowing over here going on. So the more the farther away it is, the more shadow you need. And we can do some more blurriness. So we can take the scale up also. And then we can go ahead and take it to overlay. And then let's just take out the opacity down. Something like around 50%. And if we check it out, looks pretty cool. It has this cool parallax effect that now the this top layer is overlapping the shadow and it really likes to work and the overlay uh, blending mode really works for the lighter part it's lighter the shadow and the darker parts darker it's matching real life so this looks awesome so that's how you create like the basic things then of course this can be a very cool thing to do if you want to add explosions or if you want, for example, I have done several explosion tutorials or one explosion tutorial, but a lot of these actionvfx.com assets things to put in here, they will automatically check your scene and uh, typography. You can animate the text. You can, for example, pre-comp this faint layer, command C, pre-comp it. It will disappear, but hey, let me tell you what, how, to, how to fix this. So, if you go to the comp, and you can see this jig wheel here. If you click on this wheel, what it basically does, it will, for the first, it will appear again. And it will basically take all the effects, presets, um, expressions, or everything you have on the layer, your pre-comp, and bring it back to the comp. Because I'm sure you have had the feeling that you have taken one layer and put a lot of effects on it and then you really pre-comp it, it will look totally different in the comp after that. So just click on the wheel and it will restore that data how it looked like before you pre-comped. So this is cool because now we can go to the pre-comp and also, okay, it's in 3D space so that's why we see it like this. Um, sorry, you can see this. Um, zoom out like 50%. And 33%, okay, this is just like to play with it, but you can, you know, it's like here. So, um, but what you can do is like, you can change the name to Yo-Yo or something. Go back and change to Yo-Yo, you got real the control. And now it works, it works in 3D space. And this is just very, very cool. So guys, I hope you guys learned something. And if you want to try out the gold version, check out the links down in the description. You can still get a 30-day trial to try out the gold version in full. Try it out, give a feel for it. If you like it, then you can go and purchase it. It's very cool. And if you really do a lot of motion tracking, it's essential. It's essential. Very cool. But if you want to try out Fane for the first time, Links down below, you can get Fane for free. They have a free version. There's, It's not like a demo for 30 days. It's free, it's absolutely free. There's not a lot of features. There's not this same feature for the 3D trackings. There's no null. It's the same thing as you saw in the previous Fane tutorial, but hey, Go check it out, my name is VK, and hope you guys learned something new out of it. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video project. You are amazing, and all the Fade Tech information are down below, so go check it out if you are interested. And hey, if you did like this video project as a whole, give me the like button, give me the thumb just below this video. Also, make sure that you conquer the comment section down below. Give me your opinion, give me everything you want. I read all the comments, so please go ahead and write something down there. And then, if you totally love the content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And that's pretty much it for this time. Hope you guys are all doing well. My name is VK, and I'll see you guys in the next week. So, have a good one.